Gestam and the COVID-19. Hello and welcome to a new number of this podcast series. This will be the tenth and last one. These podcasts were born shortly after the COVID-19 pandemic's outburst as a communication audio bridge to keep all of us Gestam people united and strong. We have tried to provide useful information and a warm link between us. We hope you have found both. Our first podcast tried to explain the basic facts about SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus, how it spreads and which precautionary measures should be taken since the beginning to avoid contagion. Then, in the second number, our executive president, Francisco Riveras, addressed all Gestamp workers with a message of encouragement and determination to overcome and prevail. Dear Gestamp team, I am addressing you to convey all my encouragement in these difficult times as we face a pandemic like COVID-19, which has been now become global. I want to thank all of you for being part of this collective effort. We moved to China, where the pandemic started and got from Kevin Stubbs, the president of Gestamp Asia, a complete update on our plans, situation and activity. Take care of yourselves, take care of others. This crisis will pass. And the only way to get through it is we all work together. In these challenging times, Gestam people have shown the best of themselves, carrying on many solidarity actions to help local authorities, providing medical equipment, tests, face masks, globes, anti-splatter masks, and other goods not always easy to find. We are not doctors, obviously we cannot cure patients, but each person of each uh, or each company uh, can always help with something. Uh, that is uh, what solidarity is about. So we have been able to fly 100,000 facial masks, uh, 100,000 surgical masks, 50,000 um, gloves. So uh, that is the first shipment that we have been able to, to deliver. Working at home has been possible thanks to an extraordinary effort from our IT network department, Okay, we have put in place uh, uh, our contingency plan, uh, which has been deployed successfully thanks to our more than 400 IT professionals around the world. Uh, with this deployment, we are making possible that homework is feasible. We talked to them and explained the basic routines to ensure cybersecurity at home, including prevention and a correct spotting of fake news, which can be so dangerous for companies as are for politics. In case we are not 100% sure that this information is true, we should avoid or, or prevent ourselves from sharing that information with more people. Quarantine, sometimes hard to bear, was also an opportunity for online training. We focused on this in a conversation with Marta Urdiain, Gestamp Corporate University Manager. It's essential to develop new skills that help us to restart normal business operation in optimal conditions. We provided some psychological expert support for a better adaptation to lockdown conditions. We will experience different emotions such as fear, sadness, anger, relief or guilt. We must accept and give a space to all because each of these emotions has half its own function. Having said that, we can promote an emotional balance by following some recommendations. As time went by, our plants and offices gradually restarted their activities, obviously under strict new health and safety protocols, tailored for each function and in compliance with sanitary policies in each country, and of course, agreed with workers, representatives and health and safety units in each plant. They are measures that organized activities in workplaces, the use of common spaces, accesses and transit areas, activities and interaction with other workers. They are measures that we have changed our routines, behaviors and way of working, but we must understand and learn quickly to warranty an adequate level of health and safety for all. We must think together and not individually, prioritizing what each worker must and can do for the good of the rest of the workers. 
Afterward, we learned how a Gestamp plant was doing back to work under the new protocols for workers, vendors and visitors. Jonathan Phillips, Acliff UK plant manager, told us. It was very important for us that our employees felt as comfortable as possible and understood that the plant was a safe place to come with controls in place to ensure that they were protected against the spread of the coronavirus. What was pleasing to hear from our employees was that they thought that, that we'd done an excellent job in protecting them with people saying they felt safer at work than they did when they went to the local supermarkets to get food. We hope all these contents have been useful for your information and encouragement for hope in the future. This has been our aim, ensure our employees and their families safety and well-being, along with the best possible service delivery to our clients. Each podcast has tried to reduce the pandemic's impact in our people and in our business through global audio communication. Stay strong, Gestamp.